Hello, Ashim here, and I almost forgot to press record. But welcome back to Small Mineco and Seagulls Cry. Let us continue. The golden windstorm that covered the room gradually began to shave the walls of the column that protected Shannon and George. The bright red ripples frantically drew a resisting pattern. But that just turned it into a red wall of despair that began to wrap the two of them up. ジョージさん、ごめんなさい。The round wall that had once protected him was assaulted and covered with a curve of bright red ripples as it seemed to scream. And it began to suck the two of them up instead. I don't know which of those two I want to be with the thumbnail. <laughs> Inside the screen or after it gets broken. Hmm. But yeah, so after this I guess we'll be forced to go to the um or well, to Rosa plus Battler plus Maria's point of view. Remember there won't be too much longer left, I guess. Shannon grasped George's hand behind her. So George hugged her so shoulders just as strongly. Mm. And we're gonna die before we get a chance. <laughs> yep, he died before he got the chance. <laughs> and we didn't even get to midnight this time. It's nine. Surrender. Mm. I just had a thought. Oh yeah, Genji's still alive, isn't he? Potentially. Maybe. Ah. Um, I will just go back to that last voice line. Ah. Sayo. Boku wa kimi o eien ni. And there uh, Shannon's one too. Saigo ni. Ai shite ru te. Kikasete kudasai. Yeah, this one was like, I thought maybe uh, for some reason the uh, voice line had been split differently from the text line, so it's like, it's taking too long. It's probably in the next one, right? Click. Oh no. Start hearing it say Boku. Oh well. But yeah, Genji's still alive. After Genji finished his late meal, he went out to do the nighttime rounds inside the mansion. He'd used some reheated soup that Gilda had made, along with some random leftovers from the fr refrigerator. But yeah, I guess um, all the bodies are going to be displayed outside the window to the parlour or something. And all of them will be dead. Those are all things Gilda had made himself, and were, of course, delicious. He had half heartedly gone to ask Rose and the others what they would do for dinner, but he'd been yelled at by a voice telling him that the canned food they had would be enough, and that the door wasn't even no and the door wasn't even open for him. So, ironically, the servant Genji was able to eat a more delicious meal. But why was it that Genji wasn't afraid to do the rounds all by himself? Even though all those crimes had been committed, many people had already met a brutal end. Judging by his appearance as he carried out his usual tasks without a trace of fear, as though everything was normal, you might think of the, of the horrible events that they had been no more than a dream or an illusion. Was he taking a philosophic view, or had he just accepted his fate? Genji must have considered a virtue that, when the fate that awaited him was unavoidable, he carried out his duty systematically until the last moment. 
The depths of his heart would probably remain hidden for all eternity, unless he spoke of him himself. He had returned his master key to Rosa, so the places he could reach were extremely limited. All he could do was walk around the hallways, checking to make sure all the windows were closed. That probably made his rounds go a lot faster than usual. Well, is this door open? Hmm. So that's something in common with the last episode. At the sound of a reserved knock, Aunt Rosa, who'd been falling into a doze, jumped up, jumped and woke up, pointing with the barrel of the gun at the door as she yelled. I was napping on the sofa, and that voice also brought me back to reality. Is this when he's asking for dinner, or is this after what he's seen in the courtyard? そのままで話して。はい。それではこのままで失礼させていただきます。南城先生と熊沢の遺体を見つけました。な。なんだって。そう。わかったわ。確認に行きましょう。Interesting。死体を見ない限り、私は誰も信じない。<笑> I expect to ah. say in the parlor. Maybe my face seemed to be darkened with anxiety. Maria grasped my hand with her small hand and spoke softly, trying to give me courage. Um, I will just look at the characters quickly. Um. Nothing updated for George or uh, Genji or oh God or other or oh, Genji or Shannon. Um, anything updated? Finishing touches still to come. And, uh, okay. Since it was Aunt Rose's job to ready the gun and sand guard, it fell to me to remove the barricade of sofas. When I finished, I took a backward glance at Aunt Rosa, who was pointing with a barrel of the gun over my shoulder, and opened the door. ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケンジさん。ケ
Any Maria who can tell us. Maria. Is there another magic ah. thing? Ah, okay. I'm guessing based on where the uh, things are. Ah, okay. Okay, so we can go to that one. 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 Okay, so we can go the escaping runes on the next definitely made me want to avert my eyes. But after seeing that Halloween party in the chapel, even though they looked horrible, they were no longer enough to make them feel sick. More importantly, our gazes fell to their legs. Uh sit up and just knee, yeah. To come as high as ankle. Now that's interesting. Because that isn't quite the order. Um, okay, because before the um, three of them died in Natsui's room, that's wrong. Many characters. We had six, uh, two, I mean, that should be. Um, fourth and fifth, I think. Yeah, it should be the fourth and fifth. And yet, we've got three spaces missing for getting to the knee and leg. Or presumably, ankle counts as leg. Um, chest. Uh,. Wait, uh, no. Yeah, Gorda was killed from the head, from memory. So, four. And fifth and sixth would be Shannon and George. So that makes me wonder if perhaps the. Uh, hmm. Some say perhaps their deaths were in the opposite order. But in which case, uh, the three of them would have to lie about two of them being dead. Um, which would suggest that they're not on the, they're on the opposite side. But then, also they're victims, supposedly at least. Um, Driven into each of them was something like a knife or a stake with a demonic design. It must have been the same as the thing that had pierced Jessica's back. One stuck into Dr. Nanja's knee, still standing erect, and for one that had been thrust into Kamasawa's ankle. It might have been a little shallower. It had come out and fallen over. So, by looking at the one that had fallen over for the first time, I realised that. But it wasn't a knife. Something like a steak. Its full length was probably about 30 centimeters. It was probably made out of bronze or iron or something of the sort. Even without touching it, you could tell it had some weight to it. It was composed of a grip and a cone shaped part, and it was obviously made to be a piercing weapon. Maybe it was like a miniature version of those lances Western knights used on horseback. Spiral shaped ditches in it made it also look like a small drill. However, the grip had an occult design modeled off a demon or something. So instead of a weapon used in war, it looked like something that would be used in the ceremony to offer up living sacrifices. Except these ones were Not dead sacrifices. So they're very much dead when the knights are put in stakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
第7の番に膝をえぐりて殺せ第8の番に足をえぐりて殺せ待てよそれじゃ第456の番が抜けちまうままさか Of course Why is Genji San alone? Something like this has happened Why aren't George and Ki go to San Shannon Channel here? Why was Genji San alone? どういうことジョージ君たち三人はどこへ行ったの夏日奥様のお部屋を探し物に行きたいと言われましたお出かけになりましたまだお戻りになりませんなんだってその出かけたってのはいつ頃の話なんだよ二三、uh, 時間前のことだと思います<笑>そ,そんななんでそんな大事なことをやっちゃなくてなんで不審に思わなかったんだよ常に一人使用人は待機していなくてはなりません彼らが戻るまで待機しているのが私のお勤めでしたので Was Genji san really this much of a robot? This is bad, this is bad, it's really bad. Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa san were killed like this, which means that three people have already been killed. Um. Yeah, the ordering feels off. But then the cuts on the neck match the. Descriptions? Could they. Could it have been something similar to Canon where it isn't actually Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa san, but then they were killed in that fashion afterwards to make it seem like that? Maybe. That's the only real explanation. Um, another possibility right now is that、uh, Genji is also、uh, fake Genji. We ran towards Aunt Natsui's room with a touch of anxiety and just as much resignation. Before we even saw the inside of Aunt Natsui's room, we were forced to resign ourselves to a certain fact. Blood? And that door was a bizarre scribble. No, filth? Which one is it? A new one? Anyway. The room wasn't in an ordinary state. Indeed, without even opening the door, we could imagine what we'd find inside. On the face of the door, how should I say it? Handprints, done heavily with the same red paint as the magic circles from before. I banged on the door, scratched at it, dirtied it. It looked like the aftermath of a kindergartner playing in the mud. I didn't know what it could mean. Bright red paint that had been just lathered on was dripping down, and even though no one said it, it made us think of blood. Genji san, open the door. Aunt Rosa held her gun up high and ordered Genji san to open the door. Genji san approached it, without seeming particularly troubled by that stuff in the mess, and turned the knob. But immediately turned around, shaking his head. It was locked. At that moment, there was only one person in this mansion who could lock and unlock doors at will Aunt Rosa. This time, Genji asked Aunt Rosa to unlock the door instead of the other way around. After frowning slightly for a second, Aunt Rosa handed me a master key and told me to open the door. Badrakun, Kore de Akete Morairu. Some of the people, Genji san, will see you as the moon. Aunt Rosa glared at me intensely. Getting into a fight here would only make the mood turn even more sour. Without talking back anymore, I approached that creepy door and tried the knob. It didn't open. There was definitely the resistance of a lock. I stuck the master key into the keyhole. There was a slight resistance. Aunt Rosa told me to be on my guard. And I opened the door without really guarding myself in any way.
And then, there was a scene laid out before us that didn't betray my expectations at all. Side of the room looked as though a robber had just broken in. Drawers had been flung open, pulled out, and had their contents thrown about all over the place. Even the room was so cluttered, you'd never believe it belonged to the methodical one that soon. The very first thing that caught our eyes was Godasan's corpse lying face down in front of the door. Oh, okay, the chest. Right in the centre of his chest, Thomas as well had been stuck there to finish off a vampire. It was one of those demon stakes from before. Exactly how far could it have reached after being stuck that deeply into his chest? Just imagining it would make anyone's chest hurt. <laughs> Maria grabbed my hand. Her expression looked just like normal. Maybe she really was afraid of the ore on the stream where the three corpses lay. And, along the wall farthest into the room, George Anakin lay dead. This time, one of those stakes had been rammed right through into the centre of his stomach. Was he gouging the stomach? This six twilight? Shannon Chan's corpse was, lying, was face down in front of the dresser lying in a sea of blood. Had she seen her own face at the end? In that horribly broken mirror, stained with blood? Because she was lying that way, I couldn't see her face. But I could guess, even without seeing it. Nearby, in the sea of blood she lay, a demon stake had fallen. Only the fourth twilight was left. Gouge the head and kill. Maybe my heart was totally worn out and dead. Even though I knew it was wrong, I lifted her head and checked. And I confirmed that my guess had been right on the mark. There was a gaping hole in Shannon Chan's head, and the insides were dripping out. Not only that, but you could even see inside her. After seeing that, I finally realized I was doing something wrong. I immediately averted my eyes. By now, it's probably pointless. It? Aunt Rosa got violently mad at me and even tugged at the back of my collar. I tottered limply and fell on my butt, gazing dimly up at the ceiling. マリア。うん。これだ。第8の番まで終わっちまったな。第9の番って。なんだ第9の番にマジョは蘇らない。誰も生き残ればしない。うん。そっか。Interesting mm -hmm. that uh, grandfather's corpse wasn't found in there at any point. I do, not, I do not doubt that he is dead, though. And what was the end of もうすぐ。魔女は蘇り、誰も生き残れはしない。俺たちはこれから死ぬのか。それともこれだ。生贄の儀式は終了だ。俺たちの旅は終わり。黄金教へたどり着けるのか。うん。何が俺たちの旅
俺たちは今日一日犯人を見つけよう事態を打開しようと散々頭をひねって何も至れなかったバカの考え休むに似たりってやつだ、うん、そうさ俺たちは今日一日ずっとゾウと疑心暗鬼で自分を焼き焦がした死んだ人間しか信用できないって言ってわざわざ3人の死に顔をここまで確認に来たんだぜこんな俺たちがどうして黄金京都やらにたどり着けるっていうのね That's right. We couldn't resolve any of our problems anyway. It would have been so much better if we locked ourselves up the whole time without thinking at all. Grandfather's the wisest of all. Wisest of us. He's been shut up in his room since yesterday, without any contact with anyone. That was the right decision. Um, didn't Genji have the only ring to that? It wasn't that like a special key? Not the master key? Um,. I'm wondering about that. <laughs> Grandfather was the most correct of us all. Daijobu dayo, Batora. Maria to ireba, daijobu. Majo wa totemo kimakure de, toki ni omoshiro hanbu ni ningen o koros ka mo shire nai, osoroshi sonzai da kere do. Demo, Maria to isho ni ireba, zettai ni daijobu. Dakara, After Aunt Rosa finished investigating their corpses, she announced that she'd seal this room again. Chased the rest of us out, stole back the master key she'd lent me, and locked the door again. Apparently, George Anarchy had been holding the key to Annette's room. She also collected that. That would make it another closed room. Uh, not room. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. She's got all the master keys on her person. If Natsui's own room, her own key was locked up inside the room. Doesn't that make it another closed room? So what? Is this the fourth closed room? Now that the suspicion surrounding those three had been cleared, we returned to the parlour once more. I just had a thought. Um, the key... Only the key can uh, lock the door, and there's no other mechanism that can do it. What if there's some kind of mechanism to delay the locking of the door? In that case, it's not the mechanism itself necessarily locking the door. The key is still the thing that's locking the door. It's just happening after the fact. One of the main reasons I'm thinking of that is uh, Golda trying to lock the door, but it wasn't. Um, there seems to be some mechanism preventing him from locking the door from the inside, and yet uh, we find the door locked with the key inside. Presumably that key locked the door since we know where all the master keys are. Uh, and I was thinking, uh, I think I mentioned last part, uh, how I found it weird that um, they couldn't lock the door. Um, maybe that mechanism was, pr I think I mentioned, I thought that mechanism might be um, present elsewhere. Um, but yeah. Uh, out. I don't think I'll be breaking the red text if there's some kind of mechanism to delay locking. Um, I guess kind of like how you've got the automatically locking uh, door for the study. Uh, in a way, kind of less delayed though. Um, but it does automatically lock itself. Hmm. Yeah. Now that the suspicion surrounding those three had been cleared, we returned to the parlour once more. I don't have a clue what's going on anymore. If only the dead are innocent, and everyone alive is a wolf. That leaves only me, 
Aunt Rosa, Maria, and Genji-san, and Beatrice. And besides us, there's only your grandfather and that 19th person, the guest we've seen no trace of, Beatrice. Uh, let's actually just uh, have a look at the new his corpse, uh, so it's Nanjo, his corpse, which had gone missing, was later found in a courtyard. At that time, it was found with a weapon shaped like a stake, having been rammed into the knee. That finishes up the seventh twilight. Her corpse, which had gone missing, was later found in a courtyard. At that time, it was found with a weapon shaped like a stake, being rammed into the ankle. That finishes up the eighth twilight as well. Um, Gordon? Died in Natsu's room, with his chest having been pierced by a weapon shaped like a stick. In the fifth twilight, gouge the chest and kill. The chef's goose was cooked. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with George first. Died in Natsu's room, with his stomach having been pierced by a weapon shaped like a stick. In the sixth twilight, gouge the stomach and kill. It's hard to say, but it might have been the second twilight. Huh? Shannon died in Natsu's room with her forehead being pierced by a weapon shaped like a stake. On the fourth twilight, gouged her head and killed. She got to spend her last moments with the man she loved. Yarn. Yeah, and she got to be with the person she loved. She wants to be happy. Um. I guess I'll end up there for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time, see ya.